Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back once again to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name's Mark Love, and today I'm going to be showing you a 2019 Ventana. This is the 4369 floor plan, probably uh, about the most uh, popular floor plan in this model. And it's hard to imagine that this is a four-year-old coach now. It only has 6,700 miles on it. It's in great shape, but the technology has changed somewhat. I'm gonna point out the differences in that. Some things inside, I actually like better on the 2019 than on the newer ones. And I'll show you that as we uh, go along. Uh, let's start by walking around the outside. Um, first of all, I'm gonna point out a couple of things right here. You have a uh, keyless entry here and a really heavy duty grab handle. As I get older, I really appreciate how important these are. And right here's a little feature that, unless you know what it is, it confuses you. It's actually a bracket for your flag holder here. So if you wanna, you know, fly your Michigan flag or heaven forbid, Ohio State or Alabama, you've got a handy place here to, to fly it. Uh, as we move down the side, there's a couple of safety enhancements that Numar does that not a lot of other companies do. Uh, you've heard me say before, uh, Numar's slogan is when you know the difference. And when you find out the things they do that other manufacturers don't, it really makes sense. First of all, this is your fuel fill, and that rubber line in there is protected by a steel plate. If you should ever uh, blow this tire and it shreds, it's gonna get wrapped up in that fuel line and can cause some real problems. So having that steel plate there is just a, a nice safety feature. If you are out looking at other models, that's something I would suggest looking at and see how they protect theirs. As we move down to this first compartment, uh, this is a short one because of com components behind it. But I see uh, you do get a handy little footstool with this one. And you do have a 110 outlet right there. Uh, moving back to this compartment, you can see it's got a pull-out slide tray. And this is a manual one, but it's nice when you've got your Tupperware bins or other things in the middle of the coach under the chassis rails. It makes it easy to access, and you can pull this out from either side. And as long as we're right here, this is a good place to talk about Numar Star Foundation. Now what the Star Foundation stands for is strong, true, and robust. And it is this superstructure here that Numar welds on during their chassis prep. You can see the way it's gusseted. It supports your sidewall better. It gives you more support for your storage compartment. But the most important thing, if you look at this floor joist here, you notice it's not sitting directly on the chassis rail. What that does is, as you go down the road, maybe hit some potholes or have some tweaking or twisting in your frame, it doesn't transfer that up to the floor. Uh, that means your, your tile is not going to crack. You're not going to be popping the grout out of the seams. With all of the, uh, the residential refrigerators and the uh, heavier appliances, many of these will have tile all the way to the back. It's a heavier coach, and you need a stronger foundation, and that's what this star foundation is all about. As we move back to this next compartment, you can see this passes all the way through. And I actually prefer this rather than having two slide outs. Your slide outs, you lose a little bit of height, you lose a little bit of room on the side. This is a big, wide open compartment. Right here above it, we do have a 43 inch TV in your outside wall. Most of these coaches will have three to four TVs and you never want to miss a game, so that's a good thing. As we move back, oh, we already saw that one. And then up here, we have a, a half tray. This one has a component on the other side, so it only goes halfway uh, in there. But also you can see you've got your vacuum cleaner hoses and components. This looks like it's never been used. You have a, a system inside, but you also can hook it up out here. Real convenient if you wanna vacuum out your uh, storage compartments. 
Most all these have a 110 outlet in your outside compartments. So if you are plugging something in outside, it, it makes it real easy. Here we have a nice uh, pegboard and there's a water tank behind here. That's why it's a shallow compartment. I see they have left a hose in here. This would hook into your air compressor for airing tires or, or toys. This right here happens to be the bracket that slides into that flag holder. Uh, obviously never been used. Again, with 6,700 miles, it's hard to believe this is a four-year-old coach. It sure doesn't look like it. Move back to this rear compartment. You can see these are your chassis batteries, your starting batteries. You have your uh, master disconnect switch. That's your combustion chamber there. Uh, we have our Oasis uh, tank. Everything easy to access right here in the back. Now as we move around the back, I'll talk about the, the chassis and engine a little bit. This is the, uh, the Freightliner XCR chassis. It's a raised rail chassis with a uh, ISL, it's an 8.9 liter Cummins 400 horse engine. And this delivers somewhere between 12 and 1250 foot pounds of torque. Now, on the Ventana, it is a rear radiator. If you were to step up to a 450 or 500 horse, say Mountain Air, Dutch Star, this will become a side radiator. You can see the engine better. But all of your uh, uh, fluid dipsticks and, and access for putting your oil in and so forth are right here. Very easy to reach. Uh, you also have your air gauge here. This is measuring the pressure coming through your air filter. And uh, according to Freightliner, there's a, a three-year sort of a maintenance cycle. In your first year and every year, you want to change the oil, your oil filter. Uh, every two years, you want to change this air filter. And then every three years, your uh, water separator filter. This one's rated to pull 15,000 pounds. You can see you've got the two-inch hitch here. And I don't know if you can get a shot of that plate there, Jody, but uh, it tells you that it's 15,000 pounds of towing with 1,500 pounds tongue weight. If you use weight distribution bars or equalizer bars, that actually jumps up to 16,000 pounds of towing. Then you have your seven-way switch right here. Now, these people air system in. Actually that yellow hose would be connecting your air system here to the tow vehicle for your braking. This must be an Air Force One. Okay, another nice thing, you do get a ladder here. Now in the later years, uh, 2020 or uh, certainly in 21, that eyebrow sits a little different and you don't get the ladder on the back. I like having this feature. Let's move around over here on the shady side. We've got a couple of shallow compartments here. You know, good for, for tools or whatnot. You probably get some of those folding uh, chairs, uh, camp chairs in here. Also, right up here, you've got a plug. This is your engine preheat. So on your cold days, if you want to you know, fire up uh, your generator, preheat the engine, you can do it right there. Another thing I want to talk about while we're right here is the flush slide outs, flush wall slides. And this is a good example right here. You can see how this door, which happens to be an egress door behind your toilet inside, how it sits within the side wall here. What that does is you're going down the road and all of the slide outs, you know, have the same application. The wind, if it's raining, they can drive rain in the fascias that overlap like this. So it, it keeps it drier. You don't get the weather too. You don't get the air noise coming in around your doors and your slides with these flush wall systems. Okay, right here is our def tank. And uh, that's going to be a, a 10 gallon, I believe. We've got a 100 gallon fuel tank. Another thing that, uh, let's see if we can get a shot of it. You've got an adjustment screw on your freight liner, and it's actually right here. 
which is part of your V-Ride system. And kudos to Freightliner for uh, coming up with this. If you ever need to realign that rear axle, many coaches have that welded. You've got to break that weld, realign, and then re-weld it. At a Freightliner shop, they can adjust that rear axle with that adjustment bolt right there. The V-Ride, by the way, is a system that makes for a more stable ride. You don't get as much rocking and leaning as you're going around corners, and that's a Freightliner feature. Here we have our water compartment. You can see we have a power uh, hose rewind for our water hose, whole house filter. Uh, our dump valves are right there. You can power fill your tank. You do have a, a sewage rinse for your black tank, uh, hot and cold low point drains, and an outside shower right there. Very well thought out. This compartment holds our 50 amp power cord and you notice that is on a uh, power reel also. And then beside it, we have our crossover uh, circuit with our surge protector. And then this compartment is our Oasis Hydronic Heater. Now the Oasis, uh, it burns the diesel from the fuel tank for your furnace and for your hot water. And one of the nice things about the Oasis it's a quieter, cleaner burning system than the Aqua Hot. One of the reasons Numar uses this. It's a little bit more expensive, but what I like is it has dual electric elements. So in cold weather, you may not need to fire up your diesel burner to heat that coach. You've got two separate electric elements, and you can use one at a time or use them both. You could all use all three, your diesel and both electric elements, to heat it up faster. And then of course here is just the back side of our storage compartments. And again, this is the one with the slide out tray that will pull out all the way from either side. Much easier to access when your slides are in. And then this is our battery compartment. Now that is on a pull out tray you have eight six volt AGM batteries. And when you see the eight batteries, that tells me this is an all electric coach. You have a residential refrigerator inside and the induction cook surface. And then this last compartment up here is access to our fuses. These are your chassis circuits and fuses. Uh, they, they give you some spare fuses here which is really nice. And then this pull here is what releases the generator when you pull it out front. These come standard with an 8,000 watt uh, quiet diesel generator. And again, we have our, our side view cameras. You have the rear camera, so a three-way camera system. Whenever you put a blinker on, you're looking down this side of the coach. That's handy when you're maneuvering into a tight spot to be able to look down the side of your coach. And look at the size of the window and how low it comes. When you pull up to a stop sign or behind a, another vehicle, you can see the road in front of you, you know, four or five feet out here. You can get really close and have a great view with this window. Well, let's go ahead and step inside and take a look at the floor plan and I'll point out some of the features on the interior. Okay, this is the Lagoon uh, interior. It's also got the Lagoon uh, graphics and exterior paint job. And up here in the cab, you have very comfortable leather seats. Both of them do have uh, uh, footstools for you. Uh, this will only come out when you spin it around. Uh, First of all, a pretty standard dash. You've got your, your visor switches here, 
you know, your blackout shade, of course, that one will only come down so far while you're driving. Uh, generator start, uh, front fan that is up behind there. If it's raining, you might want that if it's kind of fogging up the windshield. Over on this side, uh, six-speed Allison transmission, but uh, more importantly, you have a three-speed engine brake. When you turn that on, you've got low, medium, and high. And that's a great feature when you're coming downhill. Uh, it's applying torque to the drive shaft, actually. And then, of course, you have auto levelers here. One of the things that, uh, that Numar uses that was an exclusive for the first three or four years is called the Comfort Drive. And I'm going to demonstrate that right now. See how that wheel returned to the center? That's exactly what it's for. As I'm going down the road, I have a dial here. So at 60, 70 miles an hour, I might want to turn this up to four or five. It, it tightens the tension on the wheel. But when I'm backing into a spot, I might turn it down to one or two. And if you look how simple this is to turn. Now remember, we don't have our jacks down. All of the weight is on the front tires. And as soon as I let go, this wheel comes back to the center position on its own. If you're on a long trip, let's say you're driving six, eight, ten hours a day, and you're on a crowned road or windy conditions, you could be fighting that road or, or struggling to keep the wheel center, the, and the coach, you know, in your own lane. With the Comfort Drive, it's a computer-assisted steering uh, uh, system that basically is censoring the torque on the tires, crowns in the road, crosswinds, all the variables, and it's constantly making a correction to return this back to the center position. So really, you're only driving it in one direction. When you come out of a turn, you can just let go and it'll come back on its own. Much less stressful on your arms. And whenever you shut these off, don't be grabbing the wheel because it does kind of turn itself when you, when you shut that off. Comfortable dash, great seats. Another feature that I like that you don't get on a lot of coaches is your uh, step pedals. And let me find that, it's right here. If you look at these pedals, they're adjustable. Now, someone like myself that's only about 5'8", you know, I like to be a little bit away from the wheel, but I'm barely touching that. I can bring those pedals out to meet my foot. So it's easier to find a, a more comfortable driving position. You also get a nice phone charger right here. Okay, up here is our uh, master controls. And uh, you can see Numar when you know the difference right there. Uh, this gives me my tank levels, my battery levels, and so forth. We've got our inverter or charger uh, right here. So uh, one thing, uh, when I come out here to put the awnings out, I, I forgot to point those out outside, but they are a 12-volt carefree awning. In 2020, the Ventanas went to the roof mount Girards. Those are a 110-volt, so you'd have to turn your inverter on to have your uh, awnings work. But this is 12-volt and very simple. You hit the button, it goes out. Hit the button, it comes in. Uh, you do have a motion detector, so you can set it on high, medium, or low. And what that's going to do if it gets windy, uh, or that for anything that, that bounces that awning, it's going to close it up on its own. So if you happen to go out on a hike and you forget to close your awning and it gets windy, you don't need to worry. It's going to bring that uh, in when it starts heating up. You can shut that exterior step off. The reason we do this at the lot is this is working off your chassis batteries. Every time we open the door, its steps are going in and out. You're draining the battery a little bit. So you can shut that right off. Then, of course, you got your security lights, your slide out controls. This is your Oasis hydronic heating. And I told you, uh, you've got two elements uh, on the AC side. So you can turn on just one, you can turn on both of them, you can turn on both of them, and your diesel burner, it'll heat this up much faster. And then you've just energy management system here. Uh, very convenient to reach. And then, of course, we've got our wine guard. Uh, uh, satellite box up above there. You do get another small storage compartment over here. May not seem like much, but if you're full time or on long trips, every storage compartment gets used. Okay, let's move to the back, and I'm 
I mentioned outside that this has got some features that you won't get in a new one. And why don't you back up a little more? I'm going to pull these beds out. And this is a 43-foot coach. You've got your king bed in the back. Most of these high-end, the dinette does not convert to a sleeper. But I've got sleeping for four extra people, and I'm going to show you right here. This has got what we call the uh, fold and tumble. So it's a pull-out air mattress couch, and it's very easy to set up. Put this down. You can see your air mattress right there. Let's say you've got a couple more people. This here is a flex steel uh, bunk couch, and it's no longer available. After 2020, uh, this, this feature can't be found. And I love the way it works. It's very simple. I'm going to pop this up. So you have your sleeper up here. Then down here on the bottom, simply pull that up. You have your safety rail. Flip up your sides. And you have two bunks right here. So you could sleep literally four adults here. Or if you've got a couple of kids and they want to bring friends, you've got room for all of them right here. And then when it's time to put it back down, very fast and easy. You need to lift this up to release it. And there you go. Takes no time at all to set this up and put it back away. And you notice I can walk through here too, so you can access the coach. And uh, for those of you that uh, maybe bring your uh, in-laws along, you got plenty of room on the floor here. Let me put the couch back up. One thing about this couch, a lot of people complain that it seems to be at an angle. It's because you're not tucking it all the way down. Make sure that seat's in there all the way. And then drop it. Just that simple. And right here behind the couch, we have our televator. Hit one button, and up it goes. Now while that's coming up, I'll show you some of the storage on this side. We do have a nice Bose sound bar. We got our video components there and nice storage. One of the uh, you know minor details that I think adds a nice touch. You notice how your cabinets they're not a flat bank. They give it a little contour here. Everything's got nice crown molding, molding. So it's got a very nice look. It's not just a flat bank of cabinets going across there. Over here in the kitchen, I've got some good uh, storage up above. And this one's got a nice little pullout, which is convenient for, you know, any ladies that maybe can't reach the back of that cabinet, you can pull it out for you. And then another small compartment over here. And again, a tiny drawer, but these drawers do make a difference. Oh, and they left some furniture shine in here for you. All of these little bonuses. Your little tray here for, uh, you know, your scrubbies and your dish soap. Nice storage under here. Plenty of room for a trash can. Another drawer here. And this does have the dishwasher. This runs on 110. I'm not plugged in. I'm not going to open it up right now, but a nice dishwasher. And then here we have a little pull-out extension to give you some extra counter space. And you get a couple more drawers in here. And these are the full pull-out drawers. And to put that away. Just push the button, give it a little nudge, and it's out of your way. Okay, over on this side above the couch, let's take a look at our storage. 
and this is the wicker glazed maple, by the way, on the cabinets. So that's not a real deep one, but again, it's open all the way down. You could get longer items in there. And then over here above the dinette, we have three more. Now, one of the, the features with this one is a couple of footstools, and they store away real nicely right there when you're traveling. But you've got two footstools, and this actually can be flipped over and used as a table. This is the, uh, the extension dinette. There's a couple of leafs right here in your pull-out drawer. And you actually have two of those leafs. This comes out a long way. Think, well, that's a little flimsy, but push that down. We've got a nice table leg there. You've got two folding chairs under the bed that match. You could easily get six people around this. And one thing I'll point out, I, I get this question a lot. Does this convert to a sleeper? Generally, if you see a dinette that doesn't have the angled bar, it will not make a sleeper. This is a fixed dinette. If you look at your country stars or many of the gas Numars, the base stars, they have that angled piece that you pull a lever and it drops right down. So although you don't get this as a sleeper, you do have both couches that convert to doubles. Okay, as we move back, uh, oh, let me show you the kitchen before we do that. We've got a true induction cook surface here. Any of your uh, metallic pans, anything a metal uh, magnet will stick to, will work with this. That includes your cast iron. And you can pull this out. You notice there's just a simple one ton, 110 plug there. You can take it outside under your awning and use it to cook on. You also have cutting boards on this side. And again, you can tell how little use this coach had. Over here we have a large double stainless steel undermount sink. Makes it easy to clean things off. You don't have any lip there. And there's always a residential style sprayer uh, when, when you have these types of sinks. And another nice little extra is you get your appliance garage back here. So if you want to put your toaster or your coffee maker, that, that goes up a little ways. Enough room for a coffee maker, plus you have an outlet. Probably get your coffee maker and toaster back there, actually. And then, uh, oh, we already looked at these cabinets. Let's move on back. Uh, here is our residential refrigerator. This is an 18-foot refrigerator, and it is squeaky clean. And then next to the refrigerator, we have our pantry. You've got six full pull-out uh, drawers here. So plenty of room for all your dry goods and canned goods and so forth. Across from the refrigerator, we have our half bathroom. Most of these full wall slide floor plans have a bath and a half setup. Uh, one of the reasons you do that, when the two slides come in, you have to roll over the bed to get to the back bathroom. So when you're traveling, this is real easy to get into. I'm just going to open up the, the storage cabinets so Jody can get in here and give you a look at them. And then I'll step out of the way. Uh, now, if you notice, that's a vessel sink there. Gives you a little bit more room uh, on the side for your hand soap or other items. And then another thing that's in here, I don't know if you got a shot of it, Jody, but we have our breakers right here. And then we also have our fuses over here for uh, your interior circuits. And you have a list here of what everything is for with some spare fuses. Okay. 
and this hinge is kind of unique. The reason they do this is with the full wall slide in here, if you had a traditionally hinged door that pivoted this way, you might not get it open wide enough that a larger person, you know, would be able to get in here easily. With this hinge, opens it up all the way. Okay, let's move back to the bedroom. First, I will show you solid wood doors here. And then this is a king bed. It's a nice heavy foam mattress. And underneath, you see you do have storage. And again, a couple of chairs with the matching pattern uh, to the living room. We have some nice storage here. And also, we have some reading lights. Oops, I just dimmed my ceiling lights. <laughs> Again, there we are. So each side you have a reading light, you have a plug over here on your pedestal. If you have a, uh, a sleep apnea machine or something like that, you have a place to plug it in. And we have two side windows that open. It'll give you a nice cross breeze going through there. Across from the bed here we have some wardrobe storage and then there's five big pull-out drawers now this one typically is for video components but you know anymore with streaming services people aren't using the satellites and the DVD players like they used to in fact the new ones don't even come with DVD players a couple more deep pull-out drawers so you can see you've got a lot of bedroom storage back here. I like the way this pulls all the way out so it clears the front of your wardrobe cabinet here. And this window here actually is an egress window. Uh, it's an emergency exit if you need to, to use it. Um, there is a door behind the toilet that I'll show you. This is required by law. Every coach is going to have an egress window in the bedroom. But having that door with a ladder would make it so much easier if you do have to bail out. A couple of things uh, I'll point out, and I, I did kind of forget to mention them. Here is our vacuum system for inside. And with this, you pull it up, you can sweep the dirt in there, sucks it right out. And I forgot to mention that we have window awnings. If you come back here, and this is the one to me that's most important. These are manual window awnings. You can see it outside. The reason is, right now, we're facing west on this side. In the afternoon, that sun's going to beat in here. So just having this window awning alone to uh, shade your dinette table is such a great feature. Maybe when we go outside, uh, Jody can get a shot of the, the main awning and the window awnings there. All right, let's move to the bathroom. So as we walk in, we have our Splendid uh, stackable washer and dryer. Most all of your 43-footers have a double sink. And... Uh, you can see how much room you have here. There's storage cabinets on both sides with four full pull-out drawers. And then uh, we also have his and her medicine cabinets here. And if you notice, there is 110 outlets on both sides of the sink. Okay, this is the shower, and this is one of the larger showers you're going to see. One of the really nice features, or a couple of them, first of all, this teak seat. And I really like this. This isn't going to rot or, you know, have problems getting wet. But it's got the aquamizer system, and that's what this is right here. 
what the aquamizer is going to do is it's going to conserve your fresh water and your gray tank space. As my shower is heating up, it's recirculating it back to the holding tank. It's not coming out through the nozzle. Once this light turns blue, it's heated up. You flip this switch and now you take your shower. So what that done is you haven't wasted water while you're waiting for it to heat up and you haven't been filling your gray tank while you're waiting for it. So it's just a great system. Can extend your stay if you're out dry camping somewhere. And again, I'm about 5'8". You can see how much room I have here. They do have the, uh, the skylight over the shower. So if you're 6'2", 6 6'3", 6 you're going to be able to get in here and take a shower. If you play in the NBA, well, you have trouble wherever you go. So <laughs> it makes no difference. Over here where our toilet is, and again, porcelain toilet, uh, and it has this egress door right here. So as I open this up, if I were to pull this flap, there's a ladder that drops down. I'm not going to deploy the ladder right now. But you can see, if you got to get out of this coach because of a fire or an emergency, I'd much rather go out here than climb head first out that bedroom window. And this is one-way door. No handle on the outside. You can only open it from the inside. Okay, here in our main wardrobe closet. You can see we've got a safe there. Got a couple of shelves on this side. And all of these shelves are actually adjustable and movable. If you look over here to the left, you can see a couple extra shelves down on the bottom if you wanted to put them in. Or you could remove them entirely and that's just going to give you more space to hang your clothes if you have evening dresses or full-length coats or something like that you might need a little more but if you look at the at the closet space here and then the two wardrobe closets in the bedroom you've got a lot of storage space in this coach okay uh, well there's always something I'm forgetting but it'll come to me later one thing I do like to point out here I'll open this one up here these uh, decorative covers here actually have a function. They're covering up your air conditioning ducts. And a couple of nice features about the way Numar does their air conditioning. Number one, all their diesels get a nice decorative cover. But you notice it's right down the middle here. So if you're driving down the road in Texas in July and you want to run your uh, generator and turn on your ACs, with the slides in, most of the companies you'll see their vents out to the edges. You're blowing it down over your slide. This is blowing it down right in the middle where you want it. And it's actual duct work in there. It's not just a channel in the styrofoam or in the insulation. So it's a much more efficient air conditioning system. Well, I think that's about it for today. Uh, let me give you my contact information. Once again, I'm Mark Love. The best way to get a hold of me is my cell phone. Uh, feel free to, to call or text me if you have any questions. And uh, like I say, we're getting back to normal a little bit here. We have a little bit more inventory, and we've got some great used pieces. This is one of the nicest 2019s I've seen in a long time. So please reach out to me if you have any questions. And until next time, happy trails, my friends. Drive safe. And we'll see you next time.